Hey everybody, welcome to Wrestling With Cancer. And you done messed up, cause you started watching the hot tag. That's right, I said it, the hot tag. This is how we review NXT, Raw, SmackDown, and if I feel like an impact. The rules are, you gotta keep my interest. Three good segments, three bad segments in a row, you give me three bad segments, I'm done with you. That's one, two, three. Now you got two bad segments and you give me a good one, you kick out and you get three more chances. You see how that works? Good, cause I ain't got a clue. This week's Raw started off with Kurt Angle apologizing to everybody for SmackDown invading. By the way, I love a good invasion angle, but why in the world was some of them guys acting in heel? I don't understand that. I like invasion angles. They're fun. They can be good to have everybody on the show and causing chaos. But there was Zack Ryder out there throwing his weight around like a heel. I didn't see Cena. Nowhere was Cena, but I saw AJ. AJ, I know you're out there somewhere. But I saw AJ out there. Well, after the brow beat, Stephanie McMahon comes out. Now, I like Stephanie McMahon. So we got a one count. I like her heel. I like Vicky's heel. Well, I know a lot of people don't like Stephanie. And maybe I like her because I had to deal with Michael Cole for so long. And maybe it's kind of like, wow, these hot coals feel great after laying a whole week on spikes. I don't know. But I enjoy her. So, first segment... You got to count. It's good. All right, second segment. Apollo Crews versus Joe. So Joe's got playing a good heel. Joe's always been a good heel. I like him as a face, but he's a good heel. Apollo Crews comes out. Great match. I enjoy it. Uh, Apollo Crews is fast for a big man. Uh, probably not a four-star, five-star match, but when you got Joe in there, he's going to make some magic happen. Paula Cruz is fast. Joe, Joe did a quick power slam and nice insiguri. Matter of fact, I believe uh, Paula Cruz pulled off a couple of good insiguris. I, I, for some reason, I like insiguri. Maybe I just like saying insiguri. 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 Ah, anyway, that's another down. I like that. So that's two pluses. Next segment, minor segment. Doesn't get a count either way. Got Alexa Bliss. Talking with uh, Kurt Angle. Now, I gotta say, the line where she says you can dig up May, wow, that was cold. That was funny. If I had to break it, if I had to use it for a tiebreaker, I would give it a, a thumbs up because that, that that stab was great. Next segment, Miz and Hardy. I like this segment. I kind of like this segment. This is what I'm gonna call a slow count. My rules, I can make up stuff as I go. I can't give it an okay and I can't let them kick out of it. Miz, always entertaining to me. Hardy, he looks like he's got a very stiff leg. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he's had some injuries ever since, but he, the way he moves, it almost doesn't seem like something's natural. Well, he did do a beautiful moon assault, but other than that, I I can't give it an up or down. Miz is good. His entourage is good. It was just, eh. So, slow count. Neither up nor down. Hey, I knew it looks different. I had to change the battery. Saw the camera was messed up. What up? All right. Next segment. Mini segment. Doesn't get an up or down. Although, I give it an up because I don't know. I don't care. So Daniel Bryan shows up, pleads his case to Kurt Angle. He's supposed to. Daniel Bryan's a great guy, nice guy. So Kurt Angle takes him into his, his office, closes the door, lights go out. There's some nice romantic music. And then somebody starts rubbing Daniel Bryan's 
neck. And it wasn't quite like that. Lights go out. He gets choke slammed by Kane. His old hell nobody. It doesn't matter. It was okay. Um, didn't make a lot of sense, but it was okay. All right, next segment. Cesaro versus Finn. It's a win for Raw. This was a winning Raw to me. Um, Cesaro always puts on a good show. Finn puts on a good show. Sheamus sits out there in his kilt. Looking good. Um, it ends with a quasi curve stomp. I don't know if this is Finn's new thing where he, he looks like he curve stomps the back of his neck and, he, and Cesaro just rolls from it and, and that's it. Uh, it I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I like the Aztec stomp better. Or the coup de gras. Maybe it's the name coup de gras I like better. Or maybe it's the low key uh, Aztec stomp. I don't know. What was a little? What was a little, What was low key's name in the second season of NXT? I don't remember. Anyway, that segment's win, win in Raw. Still plenty. There's still two matches left that can make this go off the rails, but it's a winning Raw. Next segment was next was a mini segment. Kane comes out and choke slams Finn Balor. That's fine. One day we're gonna need Finn the Demon Balor versus Kane the Demon. Kane. Anyway, we've had Kane the Demon forever. So we need that mantle to move to Finn. Maybe. I don't know. I like Finn's possession. Uh, I've said it before somewhere else that if when he's Finn Balor, he needs to have his set. But when he turns into the Demon, he needs to be more aggressive and have different move sets, including a different finish. What well, moves down to the next segment of Kane versus Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins comes out with Dean. Kane comes out with uh, Sheamus and Tazara already present. You can guess what happens. A fairly decent match, but I have to give it a thumbs down. It was not a great match to me. Opinion, you know how it is. Um, I, I, I really didn't like it, uh, especially didn't like it when uh, Kane choke slams Dean and Seth covers him like a baby. That that's just seems weak uh, and weird. Um, I, it's all right back in the '80s and '90s when it was uh, it was maybe Miss Elizabeth laying down and, and Hulk or or Macho laying on top of her to protect her, but. Uh, Seth laying on top of Dean. Yeah. All right, so down, but it doesn't matter. We already have a win. All right, the main event of the of the night: Alexa Bliss versus Mickey James. Could have been better. Could have been better. Uh, both of these ladies have talent. Uh, they didn't seem to really push it. I don't know, Mickey seemed to be slow at times, like she was slowing down. I don't know if they were slowing it down for time to make, uh, to just extend the time out, but Mickey didn't seem like she was popping. Uh, Miss Bliss, uh, she did the best she could, what she was doing. I, I can't say the ending was very good. It was just a ho-hum below average match. I'm sorry to say. Down, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we move into like a end segment, which is the return of Braun Strowman. And like you expect, destroys the Miz and the Miz entourage. It was fine. Uh, Braun's a big guy. He destroys him. Uh, I really like there's a part where uh, you see the back of the trash and you see some Jack Daniels and some Pop Tarts along with. Uh, some trident or something. So I don't know if that's marketing, because it's not the best marketing when you got when your products are in the trash. But I digress on that. So overall, it's a win for Raw. So that's it for the hot tag for the for the first episode. Let me know how you like it. Subscribe. Thumbs up. There's no thumbs down. It's been deleted from the page. Don't even look down there. It's not down there. I'm gonna try to put one of those indi indicators for you to click on somewhere around here. I think it's gonna be right here. Could be right here. I don't know. Join us tomorrow when we do SmackDown. It's got my boy AJ Styles in it. Thank you. 
I'm Will, and thank you for helping me wrestle with cancer. Yeah.